So here's our new machine we got in this morning. I went and picked it up first thing this morning. It's a brand new 2014 Takeuchi TL12. The uh, biggest skid steer they make. I think this one's 110 horsepower. You got the it's a high flow. Um, it's pretty much the nicest machine out there, I think. Um, they got us the wrong bucket for it. It's a uh, this one goes on a smaller machine, but we're actually going to get one that's a little bit bigger than this, four and one. Uh, let's see, we got the cab on it and everything. Got the hydraulic quick attach. About 500 different plug-ins for everything. You got high flow and low flow. We got this set on low flow for the four and one bucket. Um, it's got the Kubota motor in it, and it's a uh, it's pretty stout. I've been playing on it head an hour and a half on it when we got it. I think I put about 20 minutes on it. But they no longer have the radiator in the door anymore. It's all right here. And uh, everything's nice and clean and condensed in there. Um, air filter right there and your radiator. And I guess the radiator and the hydraulic cooler are now built into one. So now, now you don't have two radiators to get crap and everything shoved all in between them or it'll overheat. So I don't know what the gallons a minute are on this. Uh, I haven't even had a chance to read the book on it yet. But it's, uh, I like it. It's real nice and it's quiet. Let's go inside here and I'll see if I can open this one handed here. Door's pretty much just effortless to get in. And other than that, it's pretty well the same in here. I do like that they put rocker switches for the your four-in-one bucket now. Um, it's no longer gauges; it's actually digital now for your fuel and temperature. You got all these buttons over here. I haven't figured out what they all do yet. But this one right here is you can change. From one to two to three, and that moves uh, changes how fast your your flow is. One, the bucket will open on up pretty quick. Three, it's pretty slow. Uh, let's see. Your key throttle. That's for your. Uh, you can cut your hydraulics. And you can lock them on and off. Uh, let's see. This one new nice thing I, I noticed they put on here now is the buttons right here where you can relieve the pressure right here you're trying to plug stuff in uh, there's your gauge your button for your hydraulic uh, quick attach unlock and unlock heat air condition uh, this one does have a radio in it nice little heavy duty digital radio right there and actually you can hear it pretty good I'll start it up but I mean that's idling you can see how quiet it is and That's wide open. The radio's actually got some decent sound to it. So, I mean, you can hear that now. And I'll show you the, the bucket controller on it. Let's see. It's in one right now. So it opens and shuts real fast. Bump it over here to two. Put it down here on three, and it really is, it slows it down a lot. But well, there she is. I'm gonna get the hang of it. Pretty much everything's the same. 